So I just want to give you three strategies to consider, three decision-making strategies. Is that okay? Cool. The first one is this thing called Cartesian logic. Okay. So Cartesian logic was invented by a mathematician. So it's all about when you're in that moment and you need to make not so much a clinical decision, but maybe a life decision. Okay. Because as we know, work is only one component of our life. So consider this. It's crunch time. You've got to make a decision about something that's highly significant and highly important to you. So you ask yourself four questions and uh, linguistically they're, they're there to force the brain to look at it from four different angles. So um, Kathy was using this before as, a, as an illustration to look at how an ECG looks at something at the heart in different directions. Same concept here. So the questions that you need to ask yourself is, what would happen if I did? What would happen if I didn't? What wouldn't happen if I did? And what wouldn't happen if I didn't? Okay, and that's going to give you four different views of that one decision. And it might give you that impetus or that, that thing that you need just to find that clarity. So you feel, keyword is feel, that, okay, this is the right decision. Does that make sense? So what would happen if you did? What would happen if you didn't? What wouldn't happen if you did? And what wouldn't happen if you didn't? Okay, but it's going to force you neurologically, one, you're going to have a little bit of confusion and the, the brain doesn't like confusion, so it's going to grab an answer or search for an answer, but hopefully give you four different views or ways of looking at that potentially big decision for yourself. Okay, the next is what we call a temporal lobe decision making, and this is probably my favourite. So the concept is you're on your deathbed and you're about, it's your last hour of life but you get to have a conversation with the current you. What would you tell yourself? And I really like that. So you're on your deathbed, but you're able, you're using your imagination, and Einstein loved the imagination. So you project yourself onto your deathbed. In that moment, if you are able to have a conversation with the current you right here, right now, what advice would you give to yourself? And I really like that one. The next one is a commitment strategy. So if you're committed to, let's just say, weight loss, and it comes to lunchtime, and you've got the choice of fruit or pizza. Pizza. Pizza, yeah, correct. So look at what you're currently committed to, and is that in alignment with your decision making? Okay, so think about what you're committed to in your, inside your team, inside your leadership framework, and use that as a basis of what you're committed to. And it's gonna be around patient safety empowering staff, motivating staff, and so on and so on. So just three strategies to consider, as I said, to look at big decisions that you might have inside your work, but also your uh, personal life. So I hope that might help.